The Dream of the Butterfly The sun smiled gently, spreading warmth everywhere, and the wind whispered softly like a puppy wagging its tail, dreaming of a delicious bone. Under the cool shade of bamboo trees, Alan Wise, a learned scholar, dozed off and had a dream. In this strange dream, he was no longer a scholar, but a butterfly. His colourful wings swayed gently from side to side, caressed by the cool wind. His heavy scholar's robe left behind on the ground. Alan Wise's body was now as light as a feather. Wings as thin as kites replaced his once long, bulky sleeves. As a lovely butterfly, Alan Wise soared higher and higher up into the sky, lifted on the wind until he reached the clouds. Then he looked down at the world below, glittering like a big diamond. The former scholar was filled with happiness. Wah! How wonderful it is to be a butterfly! He cried out in delight. He had completely forgotten that he had once been Alan Wise, the scholar who never looked up at the sky because he always cast his eyes down on his many books, papers, and pens. Flop! 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 Far, far he soared, gliding over mountaintops where snow never melted, over houses as small as toys, with children playing outside who looked as small as tiny beetles, over islands shaped like turtle shells, over the sea as green as the tea he drank to fight sleep so that he could read and read. Ha ha ha! He felt the wind sweeping past him, swelling his wings like sails. It's so nice to be a butterfly. I feel so light and so free. On his magical flight, he dashed past stars that shone like diamonds scattered across the sky. He breezed by the moon, radiant and yellow, like a sunflower in full bloom. Approaching the Milky Way, it looked as gentle and white as the fluffiest cotton candy. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind rustled through the bamboo grove. One leaf snapped off from its branch and fell right on the sleeping scholar's head. It bounced onto his nose, across his cheek, and down his neck, before finally landing on his hand. Feeling the leaf tickle him, Alan Wise woke up. He brushed the leaf away, only to be surprised by the weight of his long-sleeved arm. Puzzled and groggy, he lifted both arms and gave them a long look. Didn't I have wings? he asked aloud. The only reply was the rustling of the bamboo leaves, making a sha, sha sound as if to say, yes, yes. Alan Wise swung his hands side to side, hoping that the beautiful wings would grow back from his long sleeves. But what he saw was nothing other than his long, bony arms. What happened? he cried out, his voice filled with sadness. Was I not fluttering as a butterfly just moments ago? Sha, sha! The bamboo leaves rustled again, but this time they seemed to say, No, no! To calm himself, Alan Wise looked around the peaceful garden, at the leaves swaying in rhythm with the breeze, the peaches ripening on the trees, the water rippling on the pond, all the while listening to the pleasant cries of the cicadas. Ah, who am I? Am I Alan Wise dreaming of being a butterfly? Or am I a butterfly dreaming of being Alan Wise? Moments passed, and again he asked himself the same question. Am I me? Or am I a butterfly? Alan Wise fell into deep thought, and then he began to understand that no matter if he was Alan Wise or a beautiful butterfly, he could always enjoy the world of nature around him.